and we're back with another episode of El Sampler Pod. And today, JJ and I have the predictions for night one for the granddaddy of them all, WrestleMania 40, coming from Philadelphia's Lincoln Financial Stadium. So, we're we're really close. We're really close. About we're an, a couple of days. About an, it's about an hour and a half for me. Let's go, and we're gonna be in the area. So Philadelphia will have the presence of a sampler pod. Fox. Yeah. In Philly. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, Acknowledge you're... me. <laughs> Acknowledge <laughs> us. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> but anyways, so right. let's go ahead and start yeah. it off. We're gonna be doing yes. night one mm -hmm. on, on tonight's video, and then uh, later on we're gonna be doing night two. Um, it's it's too big of a match card to like cramp it all in. It's like I'm pretty sure I, you guys are not trying to sit there and just watch for a whole hour. No. Nope. Yeah. Like nah. who wants to look at this goofy ass dude and look look at that goofy. man? I ain't goofy, but anyways. But yeah. So let's go ahead and start it oh, off like with the dog? first match. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and start it off with uh, Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio with the tag match. This one's interesting. I th I honestly thought that it should have been instead of Dragon Lee, it should have been Carlito because we've barely seen anything of Carlito. Uh, and he's a bigger guy, so he could kind of match better with these other guys. Here's going to have two guys that are you know, very athletic, just flippy guys that are basically the same guy all over again. It's like Lucha Party. You know, the only thing is a Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. That's basically what it sounds. That's basically what it looks like. But here I have uh, the heels going over Santos and Dominic. One, Dominic You're lost right. last year. Dominic last lost yeah. lost last year. Plus, and he's fire. He's on. He's hot. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I think there's gonna be one element that's gonna mess everything up. I think Carlito's what? gonna turn because okay. Carlito's gonna bend. It should have been me. I don't know if you saw the look that he had when he wasn't picked. He was like, he was like, oh, smiles, and I was like, he's like, oh, oh, it's gonna be this guy, the new guy. Oh, it's good. Okay. Because is it because I'm Puerto Rican? I could you know be. What? Could be. I don't even, even though Dominic called out, even though Dominic called out uh Hulk and Wild for not being Latino, but that's cool. <laughs> that was, that's great. That was great. That was awesome. You know, that was he's awesome. goaded for that, honestly. Yeah. You so know what, what, what they you... should they should do a biography next on Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> 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 well, that's like five minutes. That's it. But that's that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. How many chip short. brains did he have? Uh, Any shorts. <laughs> uh he was a big part of the bloodline story. <laughs> It was a chapter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in that story. But, yeah, but what, what do you think is going to happen? Who do you think is going to win? I think oh, like I, got, I, said, I, I got the heels. I got Santos and Dominic winning. Uh, I, think right. Do I think Dominic is going to get his revenge. Uh, Rey Mysterio, he needs to take some time off a little bit longer. Um, then, like you said, Carlito may turn. It will be interesting. He should. He's a better heel than anything. And then mm -hmm. right there, you can just literally create a feud and then have him feuding with lwo like the story is within um since they were like nah we don't want him to feud with bobby lashley anymore or whatever it was like you know what i mean so no exactly. i think the heels are gonna win i think the heels are gonna win all right i'm i'm, I'm game for that i'm game for that all right cool right. yeah so so you have the heels winning yeah well, during, cool. during the live we're gonna have to keep a tally of uh l sampler pop being right or wrong yeah we're always right. Not really, but that's fine. 95% so, of the time. <laughs> hey, it's what we want to win. But that's okay. Uh, but anyways, well, next match, we have Bianca Belair, Naomi, and Jade Cargill versus Damage Control, which is Dakota Kai, Asuka, and Kyrie Sane. It, I mean, Babyface is going to win. Easy. Like, this Easy. is, this is going to be a squash match. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I mean? Uh, Dakota Kai is going to take the pin. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be Jay Cargill. Jay Cargill is going to pin her. Is going to pin her. So, yeah, I mean, this is one of the most impressive women's trios I've ever seen. <laughs> like, it's, like, honestly, it it's true. pretty insane. Like, it's pretty insane. Um, they're, they're A lot of ass. What? True, but we can't. Uh... <laughs> I meant donkeys, bro. Oh, okay. That's that's what I meant. That's what I meant too. Yeah. Donkeys. 
Yeah. I don't know where the donkeys are, but that's cool. But anyways, but anyways uh, definitely, uh, yeah, but definitely. Uh, definitely, the baby faces are going to be winning. Um, it's going to be. I mean, will it be entertaining? Probably. Would it be better yeah. if it was inside a steel cage? Yeah. No, but the visibility. Why? But I don't know. Visibility, I, 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 visibility. You, you, especially with Jade. This is going to be her. You know, her coming, coming out, out party. party. Her, 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 her big moment. Uh, because honestly, like last week on SmackDown, I mean, she looked insanely amazing. Like she's always looked great, but last Friday, she stand, she stood next to Bianca, and Bianca looked tiny. I was like, good God! And Bianca's not little at all. And I was like, whoa! Like she just looked impressive. Like she honestly looks like a superhero. If they don't hire her for one of the X Men movies, they're missing out. Story. She's it. They just have to teach her how to act a little bit, and we're good. We're good because she'd she be the she, best storm ever, probably. She would, she would just pull the same uh, cringiest promo like Roman did back in uh, Big Dog days. Uh, you nothing but suffering, sacrotage, man. No, or she ain't whatever, gonna be that bad. Triple H ain't gonna let that happen, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> like, nah. They nah. Say, Yo, you just gotta let him be you and him. Anyways. Sorry, it's not about Roman. <laughs> All right, move on. <laughs> Randomly, but, but yeah, but, but definitely, definitely the the faces win. Next match, bro. Wait, I forgot my my phone locked. My phone locked on well, me. The six pack, <laughs> the six pack ladder match of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. You're gonna have Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor versus Awesome Truth. Versus DIY versus New Day. Oh my God! Why is New Day on this shit? Uh, versus A Town Down Under with Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. It's like the worst name ever. That's a long that. ass name, bro. I, hey, what, what about uh, the, uh? Wait, but oh, new what about uh, new oh New Catch Republic? You forgot to say them too. They're here. You skipped them. Yeah, you did. But anyway, oh, new Cash Republic. My bad. I, I yeah. didn't even notice them. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah. So this match, this match is going to be pretty interesting. I th I think it's uh, kind of like what I was thinking a few weeks ago, uh, and and I think the rules kind of um, I mean made it reality, where it seems like the match isn't going to end until both championships are gone from the ladder, <laughs> so they are finally going to separate the jam championships after eons i think i think <laughs> that's i think that's going to be this is the time yeah now question who do you think is going to win those from smackdown yeah i mean from raw i think it's going to be awesome truth just for, so then our truth and miss or our truth has his wrestlemania moment you know what i mean because he's been on fire especially with the yeah. judgment day thing um from smackdown I think the New Republic or whatever the fuck they're called. What New Cash Republic? Pete Dunne yeah, and, um, yeah, and New Tyler Republic Bates. from Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. You don't want the New Republic. I mean, like, reali like, realistically, uh, Pete Dunne has been great since he came back as Pete Dunne. I think he should be a heel because he was much better as a heel that didn't talk and things like that uh, back in the NXT days and things. But I would love to have them be the champions, man. They're great in the ring. It does suck a little bit that Tyler Bates is like, he's great, but he's like, so little. A tic tac. Like, he's like a, a like looks, a like a tic tac, bro. Pete Dunn looks. Pete big Dunn looks bigger him, than him, bro. bro. Like that's and how Pete he's, Dunn is tiny himself. So. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's it's how like, short Tyler Bates is. <sighs> And I love Tyler Bates. Like I love the group. Like dude. Like I, I was so happy that they came back. You know what I mean. I just hate Tyler Bates' uh, music right now. The entrance music is like, bro, mm. come on, man. What are we doing with that? But either way, um, I think I think uh, they should win from um, from SmackDown. Realistically, right now we have what? Um, one, two, three. What? Is New Day in uh, SmackDown? I can't remember. I don't pay attention to. I them think anymore. they're on Raw. I think they're on, or are they in SmackDown? I have no idea. I think or they're on they SmackDown because now that I think they about it, there's three, the it's think. three, three, three teams and three teams. Yeah. So yeah, A Town they down under, sense. they're not gonna win, especially with that coin. You know what? Thing. You know what? I was gonna say, I think they may actually win. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Because I think they have the spot that should have been for Pretty Deadly. Because I think it should be a heel. If you're going to have the Awesome Truth win the championship, you should have a heel team on SmackDowns, and then you could have Tyler Bate and uh, and Pete Dunne chase. You could have people chase for the championship because honestly, that's the most fun part when you have a heel, and then you have the baby face chasing. Because right now, yeah, you have Tyler Bate and and uh, Pete Dunne win, and then and then what? Yeah, that is true. You have a point. You have a point. Hell, last year you had Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens win it, and then what? Then what? And they're way bigger than than these two guys. So I'll give you that. And, and that's the thing. Like I would have, I I honestly would have rather had Pretty Deadly, which you know they're our boys. They should have been, uh, they would have been perfect because they're great heels, uh, and they would have cheated. Because honestly, a time down, I know they're trying to push him and everything, but uh, but I've but I've said for a while that Austin Theory is is being uh, is bringing down. Um, Grayson, Grayson Waller, Waller, in my opinion, we were. That's the so, only person that we were wrong about. Like whenever we said, "Oh yeah, this guy's gonna be buns." Hey, on paper he's because he the perfect he, wrestler. Yeah. On paper he's the next Randy Orton. Fox, but then he fizzled out. Kind of like Solo, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's on that same uh, on the same like I don't know. Mm, AW it's the John is the John Cena. Uh, curse, bro. The John Cena <laughs> curse. <laughs> All of a sudden, they get they get their they get their plane tickets, and they're like, "Why is everybody going to Atlanta? And I'm going to Nashville." And then he talks to Austin Theory solo, and it's like, "Austin, where are you going? I'm going to Nashville too." All right, guys, uh, you're going to AEW. That's our new uh, developmental. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's oh messed god. Up. That's messed yeah. up, bro. Hey, That's then they bring Jacob Fatu. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't be mad at that though, but uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. So so I actually have um, I have awesome truth. So they have their moment. I think it's cool because uh, DIY they could win at any other point. Uh, they're they're still around. Uh, New day no. Uh, and then on the on the SmackDown side, New Catch Republic. I want to see them as chasers. Like they're good enough to do that, and I think they need more. They need more development so they can get over. All the other guys are basically at yeah you know, at the top of their game or where they're gonna be, in my opinion. So I get your point. Uh, good point. Yeah. Good point. All right. Now cool. the, the next match you got Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso's the Uso versus Uso brother versus brother for all the marbles. What marbles? There is no marbles. For the Legos. But the Legos they were talking about in the, the Roman Legos. Reigns special. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Jimmy wanted to fight and Jay ran away to cry. Yeah, fuck. His mom. And he, he said, said he, it. He said we gave him the one finger. He, we gave yeah. him the one. Because <laughs> the tribal chief arrived. Fox. And they didn't know what to do. But Jimmy was there. So. <laughs> and Jimmy wanted to fight, which I know the tribal chief appreciated that too. Yeah. Look at Jay right? over there snitching. Jay's over there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> little baby, <laughs> little baby Jay. <laughs> Box. Yeah, they With a bad haircut they, too. They, they look. He always got the bad they, haircut of the family. <laughs> bro, he, they literally still look the same, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that is nuts. But uh, anyways, man, um, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be fun. It, um, it pains me to say. It's gonna be it, the only reason why it pains me to say is because I prefer JS more as a heel uh, than anything else than being a babyface. I'm happy that he is being pushed as a main event, and if it wasn't because of our tribal chief, he wouldn't be there realistically. And he knows that he said that he said uh, it. He said it. He acknowledged it. So, but it's gonna be Jay winning. I would have liked to see a change of Jimmy winning. Realistically, just so you have the bigger brother by a couple minutes uh, beating the little brother, and then you can kind of make it a series of three, you know what I mean, or two, or whatever. Because uh, honestly, who doesn't want to see that? Like, whenever it comes down to wrestling, like, people want to see like family stuff. Like Kevin the Owens and Sami Zayn, it was like they were almost they're almost like brothers and then they went out of like ten freaking matches. <laughs> Best ten out of ten. matches. 
10 matches. Best out of 20. <laughs> Bro, they're like Peter Griffin and the chicken and the family guy. <laughs> Wherever they see him, it's like, there you go. Bro, all the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Since they've been like for like four different promotions and they've been doing the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like in, in WWE, sorry. Yeah, but even in WWE, every time, <laughs> it's, it's like, like we don't like have 20. anything to do. Okay, Sammy versus Kevin. Why? Yeah. I don't know. It works. It works. Just, just put them together. You know, Damn it. <laughs> hey, you can't use that voice anymore. <laughs> well, I can when it's when it's something that sucks. But <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> they were great matches, bro. No, I, bro, I love KO. You know, he's one of my boys. Yeah. But either way, what do you think? Who do you think is going to win? Jimmy or Jay? I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be Jay. I mean, they're going to give him his big moment. But I don't think, you know what? Leave it there. Jimmy's going to win. Uh, Jay's, Jay's going to win. But there's some more stuff for night two. I think Jimmy's going to I don't want to talk about that. Uh, night two. Okay. Let's talk about Fine. night two in a little Fine. bit. In a little bit. <laughs> because, uh, and honestly, I think it's going to be a good match. My only my only concern with it is that I think the build has been mad. mid mid. Granted, The Rock came back, so they were probably not counting on that being that big of a that big of of, of um, having that big of an impact because we didn't have The Rock in the cards at that time. But I think they should have given it a little bit more fire, you know, something something there because it just seems like they're just fighting each other because they're brothers and they're on the opposite side, but there really isn't any story. It's almost like it's sad to say, but it's almost like an AEW story where they're just using an angle Names. as an excuse yeah. more than an actual story. No, which they, is different. they had the chance, they had the opportunity to go get more deep and sentimental about it. You know what I mean? Pause. Yeah, they should have cut promos, they should have had video packages. All of those times where you didn't have, especially before The Rock was getting into his groove, they could have done that months ago. And just have like a build, a build where it's like they hate each other, right? It worked. For example, perfect example, I will say, uh, the the Hardys wasn't very good, but but Roman versus know, Jay, I, I, but you can use that, like yeah, the beginning yeah, of it, yep, yeah, kind of. But but I mean, like actual brothers, right? Uh, if you're if we're gonna go that route, like I would say, the closest thing would would have been Brad against Owen, which made sense. Why? Because Owen could always say, hey. My big brother is always outshining me. And he was jealous of Brett. And there was a story there. And they were building towards that story for weeks. Why? Because you can see that. If you're a younger brother, you may have jealousy for your older brother that's been able to accomplish everything. So it made sense. Like, it's something that a lot of people can relate to. But this one is kind of like, why are they fighting? Oh, because I'm with Roman and now I'm not. And the other guy's not. Which is pretty much what it is. Yeah, and, and it's kind of <laughs> weak. They they had a lot to work with. Honestly, they, they should they shouldn't have even had this match if it was going to be that like this. They should have had it on maybe SummerSlam or something, and build upon that. Yep. But you know, but anyways, but but I have Jay winning. I have Jay winning. They're gonna have the whole thing going on. So, <laughs> all right, all next right, brother. Next thing that happens is next my son starts doing it. I'm like, acknowledge the tribal <laughs> chief. <laughs> No, no, no kids were harm in the making of this. No, we think. But, uh, <laughs> all right, next match. We have the Intercontinental Championship between the Ring General Gunther and Sami Zayn. This one is very interesting. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm still a little torn on this one. After after Sami got his ass whooped on Monday, I think Sami's gonna win. Uh, because of wrestling logic or whatever you want to call it because they don't freaking change the wrestling logic of that it's, it's so predictable now whenever it comes to that most of the time and uh, I think Sammy's going to win do I want him to win? not really because um, Gunther is great however I do want Gunther to move on to the world heavyweight champion <laughs> uh, which will be nice and I would love to see a feud be between Drew McIntyre and uh, Gunther Bro, Gunther with that championship. Be great. Yeah. Great. Because it's I wouldn't classic. even care, but like I would like him. I wouldn't even care if like Seth or Drew loses it in like the next pay-per-view. Against Gunther? Yeah. That'd be Against great. Against Gunther. I will be uh I will pop. 
It should be Seth, because at least with with Drew, you know, it's gonna be a banger of a match. But Seth, Gunther could actually destroy him, and it's like, oh crap! Like, and he's out on he's on the shelf for the, like the next six months. Comes back for I don't know whatever Royal Rumble, and he wins. But that would be cool. I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, now, so so you have Gunther winning. I have Sammy winning. Sammy winning, okay. But I don't want to. But I, I, predicting it. I'm really torn. I'm I'm actually going to go against wrestling logic this time. Wrestling Let's logic, go. yes, yes. Sammy wins, right? Wrestling logic, cool. He got his ass beat, but I think they're going very Rocky Four or Rocky Three, whatever it is. I think Chad Gable's gonna throw in the towel. Did you see how he threw the towel? At Sammy, Sammy threw it back, whatever. I think Chad, I think Sammy's gonna get his ass beat so bad by Gunther that Chad Gable is just gonna throw the towel. Good. And that may start a feud with them two because, oh, you threw the towel, whatever it is. But that might be cool. That might be a good visual, especially being in Philly. Remember, Rocky, Philly, that's the Fox, thing. Fox. Fox. So I think that may actually work because. Um, uh, Chad Gable is doing the he's kind of doing, filling the role of Mickey <laughs> yo whatever from, sign up Rocky so, I'm yeah. Mickey sign up uh, basically <laughs> before uh, whenever we go on Saturday to uh, Philly we have to go and do the uh, go and take a picture next to Rocky no but I ain't running no walk. we just walk it will take us like 10 minutes just to get up there and then 10 probably like 20 minutes to come down but still just put the Undertaker's music and that's cool I'm good <laughs> but anyways, go ahead. It's fine. That'll work. But uh, but I think that would be because forget about who wins. I think storytelling wise, I think that'd be really cool, right? Because you have something that's not seen in wrestling a lot, like somebody throwing in the towel, like bro, like I like he and and you can see Chad like not want to do it. In fact, in fact, it may not be a bad moment for then Chad to go against Gunther and beat him at SummerSlam. That That'll would that would not be a bad thing, yeah. in my opinion. Like, okay, cool. You whoop Sammy's ass, right? I got you. That would be a real, real David versus Goliath match. Yeah, but in but in reality, I mean, granted, Gunther looks very imposing, but in reality, Chad Gable could probably whoop Gunther's ass if you really if you're really going by what he can do. Like the, the he's an uh, Olympic, bro. He's he's an Olympic style, bro. Brock, uh, uh, Kurt Angle beat Brock Lesnar in a wrestling match. Granted, Kurt Angle said that if it would have gone a couple of more, more rounds, probably Brock Lesnar would have won because he's just too big. But if it's just a matter of a couple of a couple of minutes, I mean, all, all, all Chad has to do is, you know, bring him down, take him to the ground. And that's it. Game over. That's the hard part. And I don't think it's going to be Gunther, that hard for Chad. Gunther has Chad, a long Chad's like, ass reach, bro. Gunther's bro, arm are almost not, the same length matter. as freaking uh, Chad Gable. All he has to do is just go low. I, I honestly, and plus he's quicker, and he's probably stronger. Realistically, I don't, I don't know. Man. It's either me trying that be or me getting chopped in the back, bro. I take. I'm not taking my chances. I don't know. I I, I think Chad <laughs> like, would, would would and realistically would turn um, um, Gunther into uh, into a Bavarian pretzel. <laughs> but, <Ooh. laughs> that's, With cinnamon, that's good sugar. Don't forget about the cinnamon tree. I'm mustard. I'm cool with mustard. That's weird. Nah, I'm playing. That's good. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's with good. good mustard. I like it. I like it without the salt, though. Without the salt. Oh, I like the salt. You get you get the sweet and uh, savory, the sweet and bittery, or whatever. Okay, when we go to NXT, you're gonna ask for a pretzel without any salt. Let's figure that one out. Nah, they're gonna look gonna at me and be like, be like, uh, like, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like, I'm good. I'm no, they do it with the hand, like with the hand yeah. they just handled cash yeah. with. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, I'm good. I'm good. Nah, Fuck I'm that. Good. I'm not buying any food at NXT, bro. That's it's gonna be like ten dollars for a burger, not even a good burger. Like, it's gonna be mean? like a Turkey I mean, Hill burger. I may get an, I may get an adult beverage or two. I don't know. No, you're gonna be oh, getting, no, you're no, because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to go to the bathroom, so I may not. So, you know, I mean, the good goes. thing is, since we're going to be in club seats, they have a private bathroom. Oh, yeah, we have club seats, guys. Uh, th thanks to our guys at a sampler pod. 
that we got those seats. <laughs> <So> <laughs> thank yeah. you, JJ. I got you. Supposed to say thank me too, but uh, cool. thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, no. they're gonna uh, club seats. They have like a separate bathroom section, so it's like yeah. you don't have to go all the way downstairs to be like the plebeians. Like we could actually yeah. look up, and, like yeah, <laughs> you pinkies up. <laughs> look at these oh. peasants. It's like <laughs> yeah, peasants. Oh, boy. Stop. You have regular seats. <laughs> Stop, we have a little no. glove, a little glove, and just like, <laughs> slap people. Like, get out of my way! Get out of my way! No, yeah. I, I think I think I'm pretty sure club seats. They also have like separate entrance too. I don't think so. I, th I think you get it. Uh, when, when I when I went to SmackDown, when me and Brandon went to SmackDown uh, with our with our wives, uh, we had a separate entrance. Oh damn! That, that'd be cool. So I was like, "Hey, uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah scan, really scan. Okay, you you're good." All right, go upstairs. Yeah, and then we, when they give us the tickets, we just have to look up. Like, <laughs> they'll you. have like the slow motion from uh, uh, Pretty Deadly. Fuck. <laughs> now, I acknowledge. I'm not me. gonna wear the shirt though. I am not wearing that damn shirt though. Bro, you will look like a, you will look like a thick slut. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, as long as we don't make it to jail, we're good. Yikes. But anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, next match. This show is not for kids. Do not watch yeah, it. We, we should do a warning at the beginning. <laughs> warning. Warning. But, any, but anyways, next match. Talking about uh, 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 wrong transition, wrong segue. What? The next match, the Women's World Championship match. <laughs> we have Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. <laughs> I think right. uh, I think Rhea's going to retain. Nah, easy, easy. This yeah. is not even worth the I worth our time. still believe that Rhea... Sh I mean, so far she has turned into something, but her title reign has been... To me, it has been bad. But she has no opponents. Yeah, she doesn't. Only she really does. Becky's doesn't. literally the only credible opponent she has. You know what the craziest thing? Like whenever they, they should have had Naya. Naya should have been built. Naya should have been built better, and it should have been uh, Naya against against Becky Lynch. But come on, no. The crazy thing is, like whenever they did the draft, we said, "Oh, the SmackDown women's roster is going to be stacked." And realistically, if you really want to take a look at it, 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 it kind of is. Except they're just doing a lot of goofy stuff. No, but this is wrong, bro. I know. And then Monday okay. Night Raw, they have like Becky Lynch, uh, Rhea Ripley, and, and Rhea. Nia Jax. That's it. And Nia Jax has, wasn't even on TV this week. Oh, and then Raquel. Oh, Raquel, yeah, she's out. But they she's Liv, hurt. too. Which Liv, I'm. I, really? I mean, she's cool and everything, but I still don't understand what the fascination is with Liv. Seriously. Liv is mid. She's like Wish version of, uh, of Alexa Bliss. Basically, what you. Not even that. Fuck. <laughs> Demo, okay, right. God damn it. Yo, Yokish finished with five assists. Freaky, Sorry. It, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Go, go, go. Who do you got? <laughs> well, you're telling me go. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, so Rhea. Rhea's going to squash. Back. I, don't, I don't think nah, it's going to necessarily gonna be, be squashed, squash. but... But I don't think it's going to be as good as last year's uh, Charlotte against Rhea, which was honestly a classic. That was a great match. That was that was a match that I know they took it personally, like Jordan would say. And I mean, they had a banger. I mean, I got I got to admit, I'm not a big fan of Charlotte's, but that match was actually match. really good. Honestly, good on on paper, the only other match that I had better than that was the the triple threat between Gunther, uh, Sheamus, and oh, um, awesome. and Drew, because that was a banger. Uh, granted, the Roman stuff was cool, the Sami Zayn and whatever, and uh, KO cool thing was cool, fine. But honestly, in terms of just in ring, in ring, that oh, was yeah, perfect. That was, was as different. perfect as you could. That's as that's honestly that's the best women's match I've ever seen, at least since Sasha against uh, Bailey. That's the closest thing that would come to that. We need and that still, again. What's her but name? Not Sasha. We could money, money. Little... What, what, I can't remember. I don't know what her name is. Hey man, now she's just sitting at home, <laughs> getting that money. Yeah, <laughs> just she's there. just not doing anything. She's like, yeah, signed. That's it. 
Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, right, next, bro, take it away. Next, we're going into the main event of WrestleMania Night One: The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes and Seth Freaking Rollins. I just say freaking. Uh, sorry. Four, and the stipulations is Roman and Rock wins. Then that means it's bloodline rules. Anything goes on night two of the. Or anything event. they haven't necessarily. Oh, oh, did they say? Oh, yeah, they did say it's bloodline rules. I'm sorry. And then, and then if Cody wins, then, I mean, if Cody and Seth wins, then uh, the bloodline is banned from ringside. But the members of the bloodline, which is who they mentioned, was The Rock, Paul Heyman. Uh, Jimmy, no, not Paul Heyman because he's not he's not a physical threat. Uh, Jimmy and uh, Solo. <laughs> Sounds yeah. so official. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy and Solo. So all three of them will be banned from ringside. Yes. Can I give you my prediction? No, shoot, because I'm, I'm, my prediction is still stewing. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you. After watching Monday Night Raw. We're going base of wrestling, wrestling logic. I got Cody and Seth Rollins winning, and The Rock taking the pin. Hmm. Why? 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 Because they got in their asses whooped twice so far in the past two weeks, which is good. I mean, it's good suffering, and I love it. You know what I mean? But, um, I really believe that Roman is going to retain. Uh, compared, don't, don't, okay, don't my bad. Night two yet. But night one, I think uh, Seth and Cody is gonna win something like that. People, it makes it more believable that night two is gonna be a one-on-one match. There's gonna be no okay. shenanigans or anything like that. Um, and then on top, because I, I, I feel like, man, I can't talk about night two. What the? Fuck? Don't talk about night two. Not yet. I think it, they will give the crowd a happy medium. Okay. You know what I mean? Because they want Cody, so Cody's going to win, and he's going to, you know what I mean? Well, but but I, I have a feeling that Cody is going to be turned on by the crowd. Um, and okay. possibly, and possibly, if they lose, it's going to be because of Seth Rollins turning on him. It's in Philly, so it's going to be interesting. Or, not, oh, I can't talk about night two. <laughs> Damn it. Stick to night one. Okay. Go. Uh, that's it. All right. My so, other prediction was going to have to do with night two, but yes. Okay. I have the complete opposite. I honestly think that Roman and Rock are going to win convincingly. There's not going to be any question of who the bigger stars are, who the most powerful stars are, because it's kind of like comics or video games where you have power levels. Obviously, on paper, there's no way in hell Cody and Seth match up with Roman and Rock. I mean, it would it's be cool if it was like that. Like, it's realistically, like, if night one and night two, like, bloodline wins. Yeah, but forget about night two. I'm just Good saying, God. like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you, you put it into perspective. Yeah. It will make a bigger impact. if that. It will be more of a statement. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it would be. It would be. But I see Rock pinning Cody. Not even, not even Roman. It's going to be Rock because he's going to show him. And he's going to go to Mama Rhodes. He's going to take the belt. He's going to get her tears. So that I think would make, uh, I think it would make a lot of sense. It'd be cool. It would just like establish them as like God level heels, which God I don't level. think we've ever seen that level of heels before. Cause it's, cause it's not just about heels that are just chicken shit heels or people. No, these are heels that are like, They'll whoop your ass, uh, bro. Whoop your ass. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the only thing you have to add is here. Gunther. The only thing you have to add is Gunther, and it's like the most credible trio ever. You put him <laughs> into the bloodline. <laughs> How is he there? Don't ask. Don't no ask. No one cares. Don't ask. Just add him. At that point. Yeah, he was. Un cuerno. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, but, but I think uh, I think we're gonna have a uh, Cody Rhodes suffer. We're gonna have Seth Rollins suffer. In fact, it wouldn't shock me if Seth turns on Cody and that's how they end up losing. Uh, because, let's be honest here, Roman and uh, Seth Rollins do have a brotherhood going way back. 
And in fact, that's what they even talked about a couple of weeks on SmackDown, right? Where Roman, when Cody came out and the whole thing. But and, guess what? And Seth was nobody in... knows Seth. Nobody knows Seth better than Roman, and nobody knows Roman better than Seth. And Seth was in his documentary. Yeah, but that's yeah, but that's not, still that's real still. Life. That's still. real life. I know, but <laughs> I think um, it would be dope. Like if we got like a statement weekend from the bloodline, I would love to see it. It will probably like make me so happy. Like honestly, because we've been asking for that in terms of like the savagery. You know what I mean? We've been asking for that for like a while now. You know what I mean? And now that Rock is here, you're seeing that from pretty much everybody from the bloodline. Oh, the, the Rock The Rock has been absolutely insane, which I, we'll talk a little bit, a little bit more about that. But as much as it pains me to say from a certain point of view, it has outshined Roman because it's almost impossible not to get outshined by The Rock. I was about Dude, to say, whenever Ro- Roman has like, it's his... It's really hard. Whenever Roman has his moments or his chances without The Rock, like, he looks great. You know what I mean? Like, last week... Roman has was, to be less physical. He has to be more more cerebral, more like Triple H. Well, he is. He has than, been. Than, like, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. But I'd like him to be more in the shadows, but show up. Kind of like, like what Paul Heyman... Paul Heyman had to clarify... What happened uh, with The Rock uh, on the previous uh, on, on Raw? That it was Roman Reigns that ordered that, right? Mm, he's but I want it, I want it to be more explicit. Like he's more in the background. Like I'm Paul Heyman's Palpatine. He's Darth Vader. That's fine. <laughs> but uh, but you could have but you could have a, a, like Roman just like all right, cool, gotcha. Like because if not, The Rock. I mean, it's it's really hard to compete with The Rock. Bro, like, no the Rock is The Rock. Are. Like, he's one of one. Like, no matter who you are. I mean, you can be Stone Cold Steve Austin and... The Rock is going to outshine you. Like, there's nobody that... I mean, you, could be, you could have Hulk Hogan. You could have Stone Cold Steve Austin next to him. And The Rock's still going to outshine everybody. Yeah. It's because it's The Rock, yeah, it's simple as it. He's done so yeah. much. Yeah. And, and, I, and I, But I do think that it's really hard for him to be a heel. Because people, I mean, the biggest pop of the night was for who? The Rock. For The Rock, which was crazy. And you know, Chicago, like you said last week. And don't get me wrong, whenever Roman came out, bro, the whole stadium was like this. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, it's hard. But the Rock is just, The Rock is like no, a no, no, black yes. hole of charisma. Yeah, but it's it's difficult reverse, to, <laughs> it's difficult to root against them. Like it, it doesn't right. matter. Like you can, you can hate on the dude. You can hate them. You can you hate can them, hate them but you can't root like, for them. Good. Yeah, you can't root for them. Uh, you got to root for them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you can't go against them because realistically, they're bro, that like, damn they're, good. Yes, like, there's respect. Yes, they are just on a different level. God mode. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, The Rock had a little extra on his entrance. Oh yeah, they they've added something. They, fla- the they flashed him. The no, no, no. But the, they they flashed a picture of him. Also, that wasn't oh, there. Really? I didn't yeah, see that. That wasn't there last week. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm like, I bro, they adding build, everything, everything over the last two months. It's like a little bit, and then but but I still say the best thing was when they changed the Hollywood Rock song right in the middle. It's like Met, oh. Met song. It was like hey, daddy, with, the, hey, with daddy, the guitar solo. I was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> he listened and we and we and we had we said that what like two months ago just saying just saying yeah. <laughs> that's fine all right all right man so i think we're, we're wrapped up with night one 40 minutes so that's fine and you that's said fine. yo hey, let's do two's... both shows in one video bro that's gonna be like and you were like that's nah, gonna nah. be like inception like come on man that's i ain't trying to do all that <laughs> But anyway, WrestleMania inside of WrestleMania inside of another WrestleMania. Fox. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this was night one for you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, sign up for the membership, sign up for the Patreon, um, comment for the algorithm, share, please. And hey, if you guys want to say what up, y'all want to take pictures, whatever it is, hey, we'll be there on uh, NXT stand and deliver. Sorry, we didn't want her to go to WrestleMania because, like, realistically, um. I ain't trying to sit in nosebleeds, bro. It's going to be cold. 
like realistically. It's gonna be an outside stadium. This was that a last stadium, minute trip. That <laughs> that stadium sucks outside. Uh, I mean, up there in the nosebleed. So yeah, nah, I ain't trying to do that. We uh, the the club seats sold out. <laughs> so yeah, but, but, but you could join us for our WrestleMania party. Facts. Just have just have your your PC, your phone, your iPad, or whatever it is. Just have it there. Yeah, and we can interact. Well, we're gonna be eating pizza. It's not gonna be a pizza. Show. We're just gonna be watching the show. We're and wings, boneless wings. But anyways, the best wings. Wings. <laughs> All right, bye.